Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Hollow Survivor, or Hollow for short. I couldn't fit Hollow Survivor on this Clash Royale, so it's Hollow on YouTube. So if you see me in Battles of Clash Royale, definitely go check my channel out. This is the first video I'm uploading. I hope it's going to be many to come. I love making these. These are definitely a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, we're playing Clash Royale today. We're just going to have fun with it. We're not going to get too serious. We're going to watch some replays on the deck I'm using. I'm going to go to the deck, explain what it is, uh, try to fill up that last chest slot, and just have fun with it. Like I said, we're going to do some replays and then go into live battles and just kind of have fun with it. I don't have any crown chests available. I play it quite a bit. Just uh, kind of get my fingers going, kind of get the... Twitter's going and all that. Uh, I don't have a Twitter account. I do have a Twitter account, but I don't really use it. But uh, if this you know, sort of thing works out, I do love making, playing Clash Royale, Clash of Clans. Um, and I do love playing on my PlayStation as well. So if there's games you guys want me to play, I'll definitely try to play them. I'll definitely go out and buy them. I play a lot of Destiny, Rocket League, 2K, uh, Minecraft. I definitely play a lot of those. It's a lot of fun for me to get uh, playing on my PlayStation, uh, I would love to make a crew out of YouTube. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's just a great time uh, to just enjoy hanging out, making videos for you guys. Uh, kind of teaching you what kind of decks in this game, kind of what decks work, what kind of decks flow, what kind of decks I like, and all that. So let's go ahead and go over to my deck that I've been playing with quite a bit and explain what it is. Princess. Princess, she's great. Uh, I love her. I got her for the first time. Definitely love her. She's a great card to have. Uh, she's definitely not a minor or a... Um, a big freeze guy or an ice wizard that's what his name is there you go ice wizard definitely an ice wizard she's very easily countered by the log uh miner as well lumberjack just a beast but i don't have any of those yet uh like i said i really haven't spent my money on this game like i said i was just trying to make this as a career just starting uh so definitely would love to make this as a career okay so for princess definitely does with the she counters barbs fantastically barbs minion hordes uh she carries a lot of things just well um, and then, uh, okay, so Furnace. Furnace, we're doing chip damage with that. You place it down in the back, let the two minion horde, minion balls, uh, little fire spirits go up, and just hit the tower. Do 100 plus damage per, uh, hit, uh, which is awesome. And then, uh, like I said, these fire spirits come out. Air damage, do 169 damage. I mean, that's just crazy. They just hit it so hard. If you don't watch out for those, they're gonna kill you. So then we use the minions. Minions are just a great card uh, that I'm doing a little trickle damage to get you for the uh, air troops because it's not like a really good air deck. Um, does it does work against the lava hound deck, which everyone keeps using today? But other than that, it, it's these guys are just there for to quickly pick off to help support uh, some troops. Biggest troops it's going to support is this royal giant. Royal giant's a beast, guys. Not going to lie, he's. But he's powerful, even though they slowed him down. His hit speed is almost uh, two seconds per hit. It's kind of crazy, but he's still powerful. I mean, look how much damage he does. Uh, every It's 159 right now, and he's only level eight, uh, level 9. Crazy. 159 damage on a building. Crazy. Uh, but he's very easy countered. Lightning spell. While well, we use lightning spell, take out those buildings. It does 315 for a tower, but... That's not what it's really used for. It's used to take out the troops. That's the biggest thing. Used to take out the troops. Best thing right there. Um, yeah, so then everyone knows barbs. Barbs, what they're for. They're for taking out the royal giants, giants, and hogs. And even the golems that don't really see anymore. But they're there. They definitely take out everything. Uh, fire spirits do the same thing as the zap. The zap's in there for the goblin barrels and the quick uh, spirit goblins. You could counter, quick counter. Just take them out. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go into some battles. And I'm going to show you how this deck works. Where's my... Okay, so we're just going to go right here. We're going to watch this one. And I'm going to show you how it goes. Okay, so starting out. Um, didn't know what this guy was using. But when I see what he plays, I'm like, okay, what is he using? What is he using? Oh, okay. He's a furnace. Well, great. I'm going to play with a furnace guy. That's why I give him the thumbs up. Princess, what am I doing? Drop the princess opposite side so she doesn't get hit by the uh, spirits. Then just let her trickle. Then you put down the little little minions to do that. Then I put down my furnace to watch out for those coming in and do help with them. Those fire spirits, again, are going to take out my little minion horde. But look, my princess is getting away. His minions are always going to be on my side. That's what the key is. You always want to get the minions on your side. Now i got princess doing trickle damage. Oh, he's got the inferno. Ah, I guess what I'm going to do with this inferno now. 
I was, was thinking about lightning if I had. There's the lightning. So then I counter these minion horde with the fire spirits, guys. That's the biggest thing, biggest trade off. I get three plus elixir. Definitely good. Now look, he goes, oh, hog rider. Oh, I messed up right there. I got a little, I thought I moved over to the barbs, but I really didn't. And so then I counter with the barbs. He gets two swings. Now I have my royal giant moving in. Use the witch as a counter. I don't like how the witch attacks a giant but does splash damage. Terrible. Terrible. They need to fix it. It needs to be fixed. So, okay. So he's got this. I'm doing much more damage than he is. But look. Now I got his witch down to a one shot from my tower. I see him coming with the giant. I'm going to place my furnace down so I can start doing trickle damage to his giant. It's not going to work. So I need to put more down. I put the princess again opposite side. With the furnace, guys, you want to push one lane with the furnace, one lane with other troops, your big troop, your royal giant. Now look, I'm down to 57 on that tower. 57. It's crazy. I thought for sure I was done. I said, man, this is going to be another loss. I was on the two uh, loss already. I thought for sure I'm done. He makes a mistake here. Drops his furnace way too far off. Look, I'm going to place these barbs to counter this guy. He's not going to take it because I sold out for the block. Got a block there. Sold out for it. But now I got a decent push. I said, oh, that's, I said to myself when I'm playing, I was like, oh, that's fireball. He's going to fireball it. I know he has one in there. But look, now I'm full elixir. I'm going to lightning spell and get ready for my royal giant. But I said, wait, now he's got a princess. Or I got a princess drop. I'm going to drop it opposite lane. Hoping she would shoot. She turns and shoots. Perfect. Now it takes out. No hits on my tower. I'm still sitting at 57. Now I got a great push. Royal giant and princess. Great job. That tower is gone. The prince is already locked on. My barbs are taking out his giant. We're done. We're done. We're great. We're great. Now I got to sell out because now he's going in with the hog. Oh, but he takes it. But guess what? I've already done so much trickle damage to that tower. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? He drops the furnace to the opposite lane. Don't like that. Don't ever do that. Dumb play here. Because what am I going to do? I'm going to lightning that furnace. Now I have, he fireballed me. He has no elixir. But he's, and so he's going to drop a giant. Don't like this giant placement. What am I going to do? Princess. She's going to take out a lot. I wish she kind of hit the fire spirits at the same time, but she didn't, which is totally fine, understandable. Um, we're in overtime. This is crazy. Now I got princess and furnace coming up. What am I going to do? I'm going to drop another furnace. Furnace, two furnaces, you're done. You have to try to stop it. Look, I got a minion horde coming in. What am I going to do? Drop the princess. She counters it all. Two shots, they're all dead. Even up to level 10, she's only level 1, and she's taking out these minions. Now I got three fire spirits coming. I said, oh... Oh, bad play right here because guess what I did? I put my barbs on the tower. Shouldn't have done that. But look, for Sunjo, got my royal giant on the side. He's, that's why he's dirty. You put him on the opposite side, it's game over. Fire Spirit takes it for the win. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's why the royal giant is so deadly. That's what you need to do with the royal giant. You can't have him just play back. If you're going to play the royal giant, you're going to play him early. You're going to play him often. You're going to get the job done. I am looking for that. I did face a lava, huh? Lava Hound deck, uh, it's pretty dirty, but it works. It's crazy. Uh, okay, let's look at this one. Look at the next one. This guy is using Skeleton Army, Hog Rider, Bomb Tower, and other things, uh, arrows, which is kind of silly. Uh, so I put the furnace down. If you get the furnace first roll, you put them down. Don't worry about anything else. You put that furnace down and let it start doing that trickle damage because that's what you want, guys. You want the trickle damage. Now he comes in with a dirty push. I got a zap. I got a zap because I knew it was coming. He put the bomb tower down to take away my minions, but the bomb tower is always going to miss a minion. Or, I'm sorry, a fire spirit because the fire spirits are quickly moving. But now I said, oh, no. I got the skeleton army. Oh, look, princess. Boom. She knocks out. Almost all of them. So what is he going to do? He's going to arrow me, but she still gets to take a shot off. Now I got two furnaces pushing that lane. Those goblins, don't know why I dropped them off, because one fire spirit's going to take them. And then two fire spirits are going to hit this tower. Look how much damage they're doing. All I've done to that tower is fire spirits, and I'm already down to 18. He started at 15 or 2,534, and just two of them, two furnaces, all I've used so far, is done. Now look, he drops a bomb tower. I'm gonna throw my um. I'm gonna throw that down. I'm gonna z throw my minions. I thought I was gonna zap. I should have zapped. Probably would have been better there. Um, but that's probably just me. But now we got this. Oh look! Now we have a full roll, uh, a half quarter health roll of giant, third of a health roll of giant hitting his tower. I'm doing damage already. He got three shots off. Perfect. 
Uh, I don't have anything. I'm, I'm trying to get back to my furnace because I know that one's running out. So I should always put it down. Biggest thing for the furnace, guys, put it down right before yours is about to because then it gets, kicks out four and they're hard to stop. Definitely do that. Oh, now it comes in with the hog rider. I thought, oh, man, I'm done here. I have nothing. I got no elixir. And I was like, ah, I just got to take the damage. Got to take it. But look at this now. Now I have two towers down to almost 1,000 and then down to 1,500. All I've done to that right tower is furnace. Look how dirty that is. If you do not respect the furnace, the furnace will destroy you. Look. Excuse me, a little burpage there. That's kind of rude of me. Um. He's going to minion horde that, which is just going to get my draw that down to half health. I want to make a comment about his bomb tower in a second, but again, respect the furnace. Look, I got four coming in now. Th two are going to, oh, all three are going to hit. All three are going to hit. Now I have four again coming in. He's got a hog rider coming in. I got to switch my barbs quickly um, and do that. What I'm going to say about this bomb tower or any kind of defenses, do not, I repeat, do not put it so far because look, I can go halfway across, almost into my board. I'm going to zap those, get those out. But I can go halfway across into my uh, side and take you out with my Royal Giant. Why, why would you do that? Now I'm going to do all this, get rid of this bomb tower quick, because guess what I'm about to do? Oh, that's right. Put my Royal Giant down on your side, take you out. He's done. He, he can't stop me. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Guys, is you cannot... Put a defense too far where I can snipe you with the Royal Giant. If you do, you're done. You're just done. It's, it's not going to work. Okay, so we're going to go. We're going to, like I said, this deck is dirty. Uh, I think I just saw my Lava Hound that I played. Oh, right here, Lava Hound. Let's watch this one. Then we're going to do some live attacks. Um, it might be a long video, but who cares? You know, it's awesome. It's a good time. But Lava Hound, we're actually going to speed this one up. Don't know what he's going to play. He drops his Lava Hound off after I drop my Furnace off. Um... Actually, he drops my, his Miner off, which I didn't understand his Miner placement there. His Miner's not going to get any shot off. But then he drops his Lava Hound. I'm like, ah, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to push that right lane. Look at that. I had five Fire Spirits. Now I have two minions doing work uh, on his Lava Hound. And then I have my Princess going to sh shoot across, help out. And I got to drop down my minions to take out his Princess. But look, Royal Giant and Furnace got him all right, a lot farther than he got me. He's going to try to minion horde him. He's still going to get a shot off. He's going to drop that furnace yet again. Continue to do the furnace damage. It's just going to do work. Furnaces do work. I can't repeat that enough. Then this, uh, I count out the bars because he has a lot of hound. My barbs are useless in this match. So what am I going to do? Uh, I'm going to do that. Then I'll put my Royal Giant down along with, like I said, this one I did differently only because he had a lava hound. And this lava hound was going to come after my left, my left side. I knew that was terrible. Um... Don't know why the miner came down there. It's kind of weird. Um, but I knew that Lava Hound was just going to keep coming. So here, I should have pushed for the three count. I should have been greedy and pushed for the three count. Normally, I would play safe and never push for the three count. But it comes back to bite me in the butt. Because now he's got a lot on my tower. And it's just going and going and going and going. And he gets the lightning there. You know, without the lightning, it's a draw. So, like I said, I should have pushed for the three right here. It's my fault. I was pushing for a two. Should have been pushing for the three. Yeah, I could have got a three down here. Well, we're just going to speed up. It's going to end in a draw. You know that. Um, don't be worried about Lava Hounds. If you leave a Lava Hound go, the only time it does serious damage is when it pops. A Lava Hound only does 70 damage or 100 damage at most to your tower. It's not worth it to get two frames for If you have a princess or something like that, do that. Okay, so we're going to do some live attacks. I don't know what it's going to bring. We're in Arena 8. Uh, we're going to do our Boiled Giant deck. If we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. No problem there. I'm at 25-15. Would love to get up to uh, Arena 8. Arena 9, excuse me, to get some legendaries. I can get every single card they offer in the game. But I don't buy anything. I haven't bought anything yet. Uh, I don't have cash wraps. I don't have any of those. Um... I would love to, but, you know, I just don't have money to do that. So, like I said, we're trying this out. See how it goes. So, we're going to jump into a live battle. Here we go. We got Demonus, De Demonus from Miskati. I don't know. I see your clan name, dude. You're four behind me. So, like I said, drop that furnace off quick. Get it down. He's going to have to respect it. Make sure he knows to respect the furnace. If he doesn't, oh, okay. So, he's got a wizard. Guess what I'm going to do here? Drop Princess off uh, right about now. 
Hopefully she stays. I should drop her off further back. Yeah, probably should drop her off further back. Oh, definitely get her there. We're just gonna let this 